Hello everybody. Today we're going to do things a little bit differently. I want to show you guys the handheld system that I got for Raspberry Pi 3 about a year ago and it's really what wet my whiskers as far as the uh, handheld Pi community. This is the Waveshare game hat and it fits a Raspberry Pi 3 and it is completely portable. It runs off of an 18650 battery uh, if you can't find one of those online as I know I've heard they've been a little hard to find recently uh, just go down to your local vape shop they have a ton to choose from but basically about a year ago I was looking for something else to do with a Raspberry Pi 3 that I had laying around and I thought I'd get in on this handheld game and see what was going on with it so this is the one that I purchased now back then I paid about $45 for it so basically what we're going to do is we're going to tear it down instead of building it, which I know I usually build these, but we're going to tear it apart. We're going to take a look at it. We're going to talk about some of the things I love about it and some of the things I really, really hate about it. Uh, deconstruction of this and assembly of this is actually fairly simple. It's just a, um, a few standoffs and some screws and everything else is pretty much pre-assembled. Um, if you'll notice in the front, there's two very large speakers. This hat is loud, like super, super loud. And I'm gonna go ahead and apologize right now because the game footage that I shot for this, I had the volume turned down to 20% and it's still distorted my microphone. My microphone was too sensitive for it. So just be aware that this is a very loud, loud, loud hat. Um, the hat has its own built-in, baked-in controls on the right side by the face buttons. And you can operate a menu, an on-screen menu, that's just in, in the hat itself. So that controls your volume, brightness, things like that. Um, it does have accessibility to the SD card while it's assembled. It's very large in the hand. It's very, very large in the hand. It's larger than even a lot of the DMG style kits that came out for the Pi uh, 3 D+. But it feels good. I like the landscape style, um, like the switch configuration for the controls, but it is very large and the it lacks a D-pad altogether. It only has an analog stick. So that's one thing to take note of. Uh, the one thing I really didn't like about it is the quality of the shoulder buttons is actually quite bad on this. And one of mine has broke over the year. So I only have one shoulder button to Display the video between the Pi and the hat. It uses that little HDMI to HDMI board. It looks pretty cool. Works pretty good. It's fairly simple. That's where the 18650 battery just clips in there. And that's really all you need is an 18650 battery, a Pi 3, and an SD card. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this back together and let's check out some gameplay footage. Okay. 
So there we have it, the wave share game hat. It's got some things I hate, like the huge analog stick, but I do love the sensitivity and feel of the analog stick. I love the clickiness of all the buttons. I hate how uh, basically weak the shoulder button is. It, it, I can't believe it broke as easy as it did. And I typically keep things stored in cases, so I am very surprised that it actually broke, even though it did feel cheap right out of the box. Um, I don't recommend going and buying a Pi 3 and the hat and just, just specifically to build this. Um, if you have a, a Raspberry Pi 3 V Plus later on, now that you've got your Raspberry Pi 4, uh, then yeah, sure, you know, pick up the hat, especially if you can find it on sale, if you can get it for like 40 bucks or less, I'd, I'd recommend going ahead and picking one up and throwing this together if anything you can just you know throw it in your backpack or use it for traveling or something like that but just remember how loud those speakers are i want to thank everybody for checking this video out and if you want to see my real recommendation for a handheld retro system check out my game pi 20 uh, build and review that is i think really the best bang for the buck even if you have to buy a whole new raspberry pi zero uh, i think that, that is but if you could, like and subscribe to the video. It really helps me out and uh, keeps me making more videos.